Welcome back to the Vera Project, guys. Today we're gonna go ahead and start finishing that Mandalorian helmet that we printed. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that putty. Um, so let me show you what that looks like and how we're gonna do it. All right, guys, so we got ourselves some gloves, some spreaders. I bought uh, the Harbor Freight, the gloves I got them at the dollar store. And this puppy right here, this putty. Uh, spot putty glaze I bought at Amazon okay so here is the helmet itself that I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the spot potty on and so what I did here is I did put a cardboard on the table because it does get pretty nasty and then once we do the putty we'll go ahead and sand it and spray it so I'll show you the process and how it comes out now this is the first time me doing it. This is just me watching a bunch of YouTube videos on what other people are doing. Uh, so let's see how it goes. All right guys, so the gloves failed, so I would have to get thicker gloves. These scrapers were pretty good to put the stuff on, a little bit more even. Um, I did wash my hands with, uh, with soap and hot water and it came off, so don't worry about that. If you do get it on your hands, it's pretty easy to get off. So um, once it's done drying, what I'll do is um, I'll sand it down and then uh, I'm gonna prime it, and then I'll go ahead and put a little bit more putty on it and, um, and see where we're at. So I'll show you that step as well. All right guys, so I got myself a uh, 220 sandpaper, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start sanding. I put it in one of these blocks um, that I got from Home Depot. I just taped it on here, so it makes it a lot easier for me to go ahead and sand it. So. Let's go ahead and start, see how it looks. Hey guys, okay, so I went ahead and I sanded everything like I told you it was going to. Uh, it's pretty well sanded, I would say, overall. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and do the filler uh, primer, okay? And uh, remember, I built this box a few videos back, so I'm going to use this two-in-one -one filler and sandable, all right, and see how that goes. So let's go ahead and get started. is what it's looking like right now. I might have to do a, definitely another spray. 
there's still some imperfections and I might have to come back and, and touch up. All right guys, so initially you had used uh, this metallic finish paint. Uh, I really didn't look, I didn't really like how it looked. So I ended up buying this, uh, <clears throat> this other brand. It's a uh, Rust-Oleum as well, but it's a uh, it's a uh, metallic uh, with the primer all in one. And um, as you see, the quality of it came out much better. Uh, it it definitely looks fully finished, completely 100% finished now. Um, I am gonna retouch it, uh, maybe uh, one more spray, and that's it. It'll be a wrap. I'm just waiting on the shield uh, to go ahead and place in there the mask and then I'll show you how to go ahead and put that in in the paddings but I just wanted to kind of show you the progress of it right now There you have it. Alright guys, so I'm finally back here and uh, went ahead and I finished with the clear coat that I added here to the Mando helmet and what I'll do is I'll show you what that clear coat looks like. This is the clear coat that I purchased, okay? It's by Rust-Oleum. I went ahead and I sprayed it all. Uh, it came out very, very nicely done. So now what I did is I, I went ahead and I ordered the glass, right? That's gonna go inside of the Mandalorian helmet, right? So it's very flexible as you can see. So what I did is I put a piece of uh, piece of paper in here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace the inside of that and then transfer that to this, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and cut it uh, probably with a Dremel most likely and then I'm going to go ahead and glue it inside of here. All right, so just to kind of give you an idea, I uh, basically taped it with a painter's tape and then I'm going to go ahead and start tracing that. So I got myself a piece of pencil. I'm just gonna go ahead and start tracing this. And there you go. Here's that tracing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting this. That's pretty much what it looks like. Obviously, I need to adjust this piece here. Okay, so as you see here, it's gonna fit pretty well. So um, what I would advise is that whenever you do start tracing it, make sure that you give it an extra about inch all around. And that's what I'm gonna do on here. Okay, so I'm gonna first trace it on here just to make it easy. Uh, 
やばめ。うん Kind of like I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but <clears throat> there it is. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make sure that I cut each side much wider. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take two pencils and go with an outline. Okay, so I got two pencils here, right? So now I'm gonna be able to just go ahead and go around it, following the previous outline. Okay, there you see, it has uh, the double outline now. So the goal is, is if I place this in here, As you see, the inner outline, the one I first initially outlined, is right here. But that second inch is going to be the part that you glue on the inside. So I wanted to show you that so you were well, well aware of what, why I was doing that. Okay. So now it's time for the cutting part. All right, so what I did is I colored in uh, knowingly that I, what I need to do is cut everything that's on the outside of that. Okay, and the part that's colored in, that's the part that's gonna glue inside of the helmet. And the part that's not is the part that's actually gonna show. Just wanted to kind of show you that. That's why it's great to use the painter's tape. And I used the pencil just in case I needed to erase. Um, so let's, let's go to the cutting part. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of these machines here uh, that uh, hopefully it allows me to cut this perfectly without mistakes. So let's go ahead and give it a try.
So this is what it's looking like right now. Okay. Happy. So we're just gonna go here and see how we mount it next. All right guys, so finally I went ahead and I finished the Mando helmet. It looks pretty good. Uh, I was able to go ahead and put that glass in here. What I did is I ended up using hot glue uh, to kind of put it in there. Uh, other people use different types of glue. I just wanted to get this, um, get this going for the kids. So overall, it was an interesting project. This was my first helmet. It's definitely not as perfect as other people are doing it. Um, I'm just doing this for the kids for Halloween. So hopefully they have something cool to wear. Um, so the Mando helmet, I think it would be pretty amazing for them to share with their friends and see how, for other people to see how the 3D printing world works and the type of things you can make. Uh, so go ahead and subscribe to the Vera Projects. Hit like on that video. It definitely helps our algorithm. And I'll see you next time at the Vera Projects. Thanks for watching.